Good morning. Today we are about to find out if there is such a thing as a universal brow color. I have been toying with the idea of letting my natural hair color grow out and not coloring my hair anymore. And if I decide to do that, my hair is going to be ooh, pretty much white, <laughs> um, either gray or white. And I mean, you can see by my roots what is to come. So I thought I better get a hold on whatever I'm going to do with my brows ahead of time so that I'll know because like I was mentioning in yesterday's video that brow gel that I was using was starting to get a little dark for me because my hair is just getting more and more progressively lighter because the hair underneath at the roots is getting white or gray or whatever so that's lightening my hair overall. So I've been doing a lot of research and reading a lot of articles about universal brow color and I thought this doesn't make sense because how can one color be good for everyone? Everyone has different colored hair and I just can't imagine that there is a color that would look good on everyone. But today we are about to test that theory out. One of the articles that I was reading was saying that Kate Middleton future Queen of England, uses Bobbi Brown Slate eyeshadow. I just happen to have that eyeshadow and it is a definite gray shade and I thought, I don't see how that could possibly look natural or good on anyone really unless their hair was this color, but I could be wrong. So today we're going to do a little experiment and find out together. And there are also brands that make a universal brow pencil. I believe It Cosmetics makes one. Um, there aren't that many, but there are a few here and there. So if you don't happen to like using like a brow powder, you could always go that route with a pencil. Or you could just use possibly a gray eyeliner. Um, some companies do make gray brow pencils, but... Um, Anyway, I figured, okay, if Kate Middleton uses this, now, you know, maybe it would be okay, or maybe she knows what she's doing, or maybe her makeup artist knows what she's doing, but my hair is quite dark right now, the part that's colored, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but I thought we would try it. By the way, yes, I am a coffee addict, <laughs> and you know, um, not to go off on another tangent or anything, but... When I drink coffee, I can feel like that it's not really good for me, so I really shouldn't drink coffee, but oh god, I love it so much. Anyway, I have a tool here that is a angled brush on one side and then a spoolie on the other, so I'm just going to go for it and we'll see what happens. I have never tried this before. I don't know how well this is going to work or not as the case may be. So let's find out. So because it is a powder, I'm going to have way more control over it than if I was using a pomade or a gel or something like that. When you use something wet or something with wax, it gets dark fast. Um, you don't have a lot of breathing room, but with a powder, you could start off small or lightly and then built it up to whatever color you wanted to. So I'm just gonna put some on the brush and let's just go for it. I have no idea whether this is gonna work at all. I'm gonna start like at the mid mid brow point. Just kind of lightly brush some on. Hmm. You know what? I can see that this could work. But I also think it could be very time consuming. So I'll do one brow with you guys. And then I'll um, do the other one off camera to save time. Wow, you know what? This it, it doesn't look like what I was expecting it to. Maybe there is something to this, you guys. Do any of you use a gray 
eyeshadow or a gray brow powder to fill in your brows? Where the heck have I been on this? I never would have researched this if it hadn't been for the fact that I was thinking about letting my hair color grow out. That does not look bad. It just, it really is like a universal color that looks like it would probably go with everything. But it doesn't look like it does here. So I guess, you know, it combines with your natural brow hair. Because my natural brows are like a sort of a funny, like a light brown shade. All right, now here comes the hard part, the front part of the brow. So I'm going to change the direction of this brush and go up and down at the beginning, like trying to simulate brow hairs. Yeah, that's always the hardest part. And then I'll go across again for that part right next to it. Yeah, if this does end up working, and boy, it looks pretty promising right now. It looks like it could be pretty um, labor intensive because I had just started using that Tattoo Brow Gel by Maybelline and that is so fast which is nice, but you don't want it to be too dark and look like really artificial either. Wow! I am so impressed. I can't believe it. It doesn't look gray at all. It just looks darker than my natural brow and filled in. Wow, that Kate Middleton is a smart lady. <laughs> Actually, her makeup artist is the one that's smart. That's incredible, you guys. I wonder if this really would work for everyone. Bobby Brown Slate. Now, what happens if they discontinue the shade? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be out of luck. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then we'll come back and decide for sure and I want you guys to weigh in too and tell me what you think. Okay, so they're both done and um, I just very lightly brushed them through with the spoolie when I was done but I can't believe this you guys. This is so natural looking and you know how sometimes things look different in different lighting? I walked to another part of the house and looked in a mirror in a room where the lighting was different and just to make sure that it was okay. And this is absolutely incredible. I can't believe I found a universal brow powder. I would love to take credit for this, but, but like I said, you know, I, I read an article about it and um, Bobbi Brown is not the easiest brand to find. Some Sephora's carry it and uh, department stores like Nordstrom and places like that, uh, Macy's thing. But a lot of them don't have Bobbi Brown counters or the products that they have are limited. So I can see this being kind of difficult to find. But really, once you have it, there's a ton of product in there. I mean, this is an eyeshadow. Her eyeshadows are way bigger than the standard eyeshadow. To think I've had this in my collection for years and never would have believed that it could be so natural looking. So I don't know, I guess as my hair, if I do decide to just go gray, it should be interesting to see how natural this will look as my hair gets lighter and lighter. But you know, now that I think about it, when I see ladies, or anyone really, that, that has gray hair or white hair, their brows are not gray or white. They're always like some kind of a color. And um, I never really thought about it because it was never a problem or an issue for me, but I think I have found the solution. So yeah, weigh in you guys, what do you think? I think this looks about as natural as anything could, could possibly look. And if any of you use 
um, like the It Cosmetics Brow Pencil, how close is that to this shade? You know, how happy are you with it? But honestly, this was so easy to do with just a brush and a spoolie. And it just seemed to work really well. The only problem that I could foresee with this is if you got carried away and you put too much powder on and kept building it up, then the color would not look natural anymore. But I'm thrilled with this. I, I think that if I still feel the same way about this by the end of the day, I might just chuck all my brow products because I have a drawer full of them that I've never been 100% happy with. This, I'm happy with it. So let me know what you think and uh, let me know whether you would be interested in trying this. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this brow experiment test video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.